for your viewing pleasure today. The Grumpy Surf Wagon. Been my baby for a little while now. Time to move on, I guess. It's a 66 Chevy 2 Nova Wagon. Built little 327 with the double hump heads. Nice little cam in it. Um, the previous owner had, or was a um, machinist, obviously. <laughs> so he made some extra accessories out of billet there. Here we go, I'll show you. This is just what Velcroed on for show. But it's kind of cool, adds a little bit to it. All blacked out, all 327. No power steering, no power brakes. That's fine, it still works fine. It does have four wheel disc brakes, however. That does help. Um, I'll do a slow walk around and then I'll go back and show you the, what I would consider the, uh, I don't know, less than desirable points. It is definitely a driver. I do drive it quite a bit. I love this stupid thing. You just don't see them. And this thing is fun. It gets more attention than any car I think I've ever owned. I've owned a ton. But nice interior, good carpet, good headliner. Um, there's no spare, there's a couple extra parts and detail stuff under there that I use. Um, tailgate does work. You gotta pull on it a little bit, like most old cars. There it is. Back seat does fold down flat. I'm not gonna do that. It does. And then back window. Hold up. Hey, there's me. Hey, how's it going guys? Alright. Um, he did also put a nice little feature drilled out so it doesn't just hang down going down the highway. Um, I will point out so I'll get close because everybody knows. This is where the bubble parts come in underneath the tailgate. You can see there's some bottom of there. It's been worked over, but again, it's the driver. These skins have been redone. Um, get under it, you can definitely see where the skins have been done on it. And there's some filler a little bit here and there. Nothing crazy. There's a good little crack right here in the filler. Let's see it. Does have the roof rack. The surfboard is quote unquote permanently attached. It's bolted on there and strapped on there, so I didn't go nowhere. Roof racks and I mean it's pitted, but what do you expect? It's in decent shape. I did replace the door handles so they're in good shape. Um, brand new fuel tank. Uh, what else? I put a bunch of stuff on this thing. I don't know. the aluminum radiator with the fan. I'll show you. This is going to be a cold start. So there's my hand on the header. And the only issue it does have is um, because the headers are so close to the um, starter that it will, I should probably open the garage door, um, it'll heat sink the starter every once in a while. So you'll have to let it cool off for 15, 20 minutes and then it'll fire right back up. Okay. Um, I'll wait till I get outside. Fires right up. Probably a little cold. battery than a overheated car. Now I'm going to stop really quick and roll up the windows so you can hear me while I'm driving. 
And I guess I'll give you one more real quick look. Little aftermarket stereo works good. Just a couple little six by nines in the back. Speedo does somewhat work. Little stupid B&M shifter thing. Uh, seats are in great shape, as you can see. They're super comfy. I love these seats. I don't know who makes them, but I really like them. And I'm not a small dude. Alright, let's go down the road. Beautiful Alabama. see it outside maybe a little bit better three 
327 turbo 350 auto trans four nine inch rear end it's built to drive i don't know why this hopefully this video isn't that jumpy when i go back to it because that would suck No ticks or nothing, runs nice and smooth. Good little exhaust note. Not too overbearing, but sounds real nice when you're sitting still. Brian Miller, Red Goat Motors, 66 Chevy 2 Nova, wagon, Alabama surf wagon, little grumpy surf wagon. Give us a call, 256-746-3500. It's Brian. Thanks.